we have used the alternative gospel for, for this year. And we see today from the gospel of yesterday and the other Sunday, the feeding of uh, the people, the 5,000 people. He said, Jesus saying that is the, the bread of life. And that those who eat his body and drink his, his blood will never thirst or will never get angry. And today, Jesus leaves his disciples to go by themselves in the boat. And he goes somewhere alone to pray. As I always say that though faith is collective, we as Christians, we journey together in issues of faith. And that's why we are one body of Christ. But then also the initiative is personal. It's my personal decision as Father Martin to choose to follow Christ. And this I make a, a choice deliberately no matter the circumstances I face. At times others may leave. At times others may reject, may refuse to follow this Christ. But I choose to follow him. My faith, your faith, the faith of others make it a collective faith that we follow Christ. But as the disciples were in the boat, the waves were too much for them and they were afraid. And Jesus comes walking on the water. Today, the word that Jesus says, take heart, it is high, have no fear. At times, me and you go through difficulties in life. The waves of this life at times are too much for us. Not only for you as the lady, even us as the clergy. The problems we go through, the pains we endure in life as a family member, as a parent, as a wife, as a husband, as a son, as a daughter, as a neighbor, even us as a clergy, those who are religious brothers and sisters go through in life. And many a times we doubt even the presence of God in our lives. At times it's difficult. But today we hear Jesus telling us, take us, it is I, have no fear. Jesus is encouraging us. No matter what we go through, take us, it is I, have no fear. Last week I took my car to the garage and I was changing the, the battery. And there were two mechanics. But the one who was doing the job was being instructed by the other one who was not doing anything. But I had him telling the other person, I know what I am doing. I believe that Jesus knows what he's doing. The pain you, you, you go through, he knows what he's doing. The doubts you might be having, he knows what he's doing. The problems you are facing in life, he knows what he's doing. We are only encouraged 
like Peter, to beg him to allow us to also walk with him in the waters, in the storms of life. And as long as our focus is on him, we will remain afloat. We should not focus on the problems, on the doubts. Our focus always should be on Christ. He will not remove the storms, but will journey with you, will journey with us.